Chapter 1. I am Mia. My name is Mia Thermopolis. I'm 14 years old and I live in New York City. I live in an apartment in Greenwich Village. Greenwich Village is on the west side of the city. I live with my mom, Helen, and my cat, Fat Louie. My mom is an artist. She paints pictures. I am a freshman, a ninth grade student at Albert Einstein High School. My best friend is Lily Moskowitz. Lily isn't pretty, but she's very smart. She is interested in politics and ecology. Lily writes reports about the people of New York and their problems. Then she makes films or movies of her reports. She has her own TV show. Lily tells it like it is. That's the name of her TV show. Lily's mom and dad are doctors. They're both psychoanalysts. Psychoanalysts. Psychoanalysts find out about people's feelings. Lily has an older brother named Michael. My parents never got married. They stopped loving each other before I was born. Fourteen and a half years ago, they broke up their relationship. My parents' relationship ended, but they're still friends. My dad doesn't live in New York. He lives in a small country called Genovia. Genovia is near the border of France and Italy. My dad is an important person in the government of Genovia. I visit my dad every Christmas and summer. I stay with him and grand-mère. Grand-mère is a French word for grandmother. I stay with him and grand-mère, my grandmother, in her house in France. I'm not very popular at school. I don't have lots of friends. And I don't have a boyfriend. No boy has ever asked me out on a date because I look strange. I look like a freak. A freak is something strange. I'm the tallest girl in my grade. Huge feet very large feet, and very curly, light brown hair. I'm also very thin. So here's a picture of Mia and her friend, her best friend, Lily. And they are at school, the Albert Einstein High School. I want to look like Lana Weinberger. Lana Weinberger is in my grade, and she's beautiful. She has long blonde hair and big gray eyes. Lana is going... Lana is dating Josh Richter. She's dating the best-looking boy in the school. Josh is really gorgeous. Gorgeous means very, very, very handsome. He has blonde hair and blue eyes. 
He's six feet tall. Six feet tall is about 185 centimeters. He's a six feet tall and very good at sports. He's a senior student. We can see Josh and uh, Lana in this picture. Here they are. This is a drawing of Lana and this is her boyfriend, Josh. Uh, she's a freshman or a first year student in high school and he is a senior. Uh, he's the last year of high school. My mom gave me this diary, this journal. She told me to write down my feelings. I don't tell her my real feelings. That's what she says. So she wants me to write them down. Tuesday, September 23rd. My mom's right. I don't tell her about my real feelings. I think about my feelings, but I don't tell anyone about them. I've decided to write my feelings here in my diary. My mom is going out on a date with my algebra teacher, Mr. Frank Giannini. My mom is going out on a date with my math teacher, Mr. Frank Giannini. I'm happy about this, I told mom, but I'm not happy. There are about two million people, men, guys. There are about two million men in Manhattan. She could go out with any of them. Why does she want to go out with my school's algebra teacher? Wednesday, September 24th. I told Lily about my mom and Mr. Giannini. Lily is Mia's best friend. Mr. Giannini is okay, said Lily. He's nice, and his classes are easy. Lily's good at algebra. She doesn't have to work hard in algebra classes. But I'm flunking algebra. I fail every algebra test. Flunking means will not get credits. But I'm flunking algebra. I fail every algebra test. Every afternoon, after school finishes, I have to do extra algebra. That's how Mr. Giannini met my mom. He asked her to come to the school. Mia is flunking algebra, he told her. She needs to do extra work. So here's a picture of Mia, her mom, Helen, and this is Mr. Giannini, the math teacher. We say easy math is algebra. Then he asked my mom out on a date. I don't understand you, Mia, said Lily. Why are you hiding your real feelings? Talk to your mom. You're not happy about her and Mr. Giannini. Tell her this. But I can't talk to my mom. She's very happy about her date with Mr. Giannini. She's being really nice to me. Last night, she made a special meal dinner for me, pasta 
with lots of vegetables. I'm a vegetarian, so I don't eat meat. I think about my mom kissing Mr. Giannini. Then I think about Lana Weinberger and Josh Richter. I saw them kissing last week. I want Josh Richter to kiss me like that. Thursday, September 25th. Today, Mr. Giannini asked me a really easy question, but I didn't hear it. I just sat there looking at him. What? I said. Then Lana Weinberger leaned over my desk and stared at me. Her long blonde hair touched my desk. Freak, she said. I went to Lily's apartment after school. Her parents, the doctors Moskowitz, were there. Remember, Lily is Mia's best friend. Your mother is dating your algebra teacher, Lily's mother said. How do you feel about that? I feel fine, Dr. Moskowitz. No problem. This is what it means. I feel fine. Okay, no problem. I said, but I was lying. Lily's older brother, Michael, was also in the apartment. He's a senior student like Josh Richter. Remember, in America, in high school, there are four grades. First grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade. And first grade is called freshman. And uh, fourth grade is called senior. Seniors. But Michael doesn't play sports like Josh. Michael is only interested in computers. He spends a lot of time in his room working on his computer. He writes an online magazine called Crackhead. It's like a blog for computers. Your mom is dating Frank Giannini, said Michael, and he laughed. Friday, September 26th. This afternoon, during my algebra class, Mr. Giannini spoke to me quietly. He started talking about his date with mom. Mia, I'm going out with your mother, he said. Are you unhappy about that? Oh no, Mr. Giannini, it's okay, I said. I felt my face becoming red. It's only for one date, isn't it? Well, maybe I'll take her on more than one date. I really like your mother. Okay, I said. But if you make her unhappy, I'll kill you. I've been very rude to a teacher. Did I really say that to him? Mr. Giannini smiled. Mia, I'm not going to hurt your mother, he said. I will never upset her. I will never make her angry. That evening, when my mom was out with Mr. Giannini, my dad called from Genovia. Remember, Mia's father lives in another country. He lives in the country called Genovia. He wanted to talk to mom. He sounded very weird, strange. 
His voice was really strange. I didn't want to tell him about Mom and her date with Mr. Giannini. I lied. She's working in her art studio, I said. Remember, Mia's mother is an artist. September 27th, Saturday. I went into the kitchen early this morning. My cat, Fat Louie, wanted some food. My mom was there, and she was making pancakes. I couldn't believe it. Mom never cooks breakfast. She usually wakes up later than me. She was in a very good mood. She was smiling happily. I had a wonderful time last night, she said. Mom and Mr. Giannini ate dinner at a Thai restaurant last night. They're going on another date this week. I feel okay about this. I'm happy because my mom is happy. Sunday, September 28th. My dad called again today. This time, Mom was in her art studio. My dad sounded very weird, strange again. Monday, September 29th. Mr. Giannini was in a very good mood. Suddenly, he started talking about the school play. Uh, school play is school theater, drama club. All the students are going to act and sing in the musical, My Fair Lady. Mia, you could play the main character, he said. I was surprised. Mr. Giannini was only being nice. I knew that, but I can't be in a musical. I can't sing. My voice is horrible. Later, when I was with Lily, Lana Weinberger came up to us. She started calling me a freak again. Josh Richter was with her. I knew why Lana said this. She wanted to hurt me, and she wanted Josh to see my unhappiness. Leave us alone, Weinberger, said Lily angrily. Lana started to argue with Lily, but Lily isn't afraid of Lana. She just laughs if people say bad things to her. Tuesday, September 30th. Something weird has happened. Something strange has happened. When I got home from school, my mom was waiting for me. She had a strange look on her face. She spoke softly and quietly. Your dad called, she said. He's very upset. He's heard some bad news. He's a sterile. He's a sterile. It means he can't have any more kids. About a year ago, my dad was very ill, very sick. He had cancer. He had an operation. Doctors had to cut, remove the cancer out of his body. Then he had chemotherapy treatment. Chemotherapy treatment is uh, when doctors use radiation to kill cancer. The chemotherapy worked well and the cancer hasn't come back. 
The chemotherapy has made your dad sterile, Mom said. He can never have another child. I don't understand why my dad is upset. Why does he want more kids? He already has me. I only see dad at Christmas and in the summer, but that's okay. He looks after, he takes care of Genovia, and he's always very busy. My dad's hair fell out after the chemotherapy. He looks like Captain Jean-Luc Picard in the TV show Star Trek The Next Generation. My dad has had a lot of girlfriends. He brings them to Grand Mare's house in France. Remember, Grand Mare is means grandmother in French. So he brings my dad brings his girlfriends to my grandmother's house in France. They love the twenty seven bedrooms, the ballroom, the swimming pools and the farm. But Dad never goes out. He never dates with another girl for more than a few months. Dad is flying here to New York tomorrow, said Mom. He wants to talk to you, Mia. Chapter 2 You're a princess. Wednesday, October 1st. My dad has arrived in New York. He's staying at the Plaza Hotel, where all the rich people stay. Thursday, October 2nd, afternoon. The ladies' room at the Plaza Hotel. I've had a terrible shock. Now I know why my dad wants more kids. It's because he's a prince. My dad is a politician. He works in government and he's rich, but he's also the prince of Genovia and nobody told me. I didn't know. I've been to Genovia lots of times every summer. I stay in my grandmother's house, Miragnac. It's on the border of France near Genovia. Why didn't she tell me the truth? Miragnac is the name of the grandmother's house. Some people who have a very large house and are very rich have a name for their house and land. So, the grandmother's house and land is called Miragnac. A few years ago, I found some information about Genovia in an encyclopedia. I read these facts. I read this information. The name of the Genovian royal family was Rinaldo. The head of the family was Prince Arthur Christophe Philippe Gerard Grimaldi Rinaldo. Many rich people have very long names. There was a picture of the prince. He had thick brown hair and a mustache. My dad's family name is also Rinaldo. My dad's name is Philippe Rinaldo. This afternoon, my dad and I sat in the Palm Court dining room at the Plaza Hotel. Lots of tourists go there. They like to have tea there in the afternoon. So here's a picture of Mia 
and this is her father, Philippe, and he he lost his hair because he had cancer and he had chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is medicine to keep cancer from coming back. So he lost his hair, but it will grow back. When he stops chemotherapy, his hair will come back. I want you to know the truth, Mia, began my dad in a very serious voice. I am the Prince of Genovia. This news was a terrible shock for me. Suddenly I got hiccups. Hiccup. Hiccup. Really, Dad? I said, hiccup. I tried to stop the noise coming from my throat but I couldn't hiccup, hiccup. There were really loud hiccups, hiccup, hiccup. I'm head of the royal family of Genovia, said my dad. Your mother didn't want you to know this. She didn't want you to grow up in a palace. I agreed with her, but unfortunately, I've now heard some bad news. I can't have any more children. You're my only child, Mia. So you are now my heir. Heir. What does this mean? When I die, you will be the ruler, the queen of Genovia. So heir if you are someone's heir, it means you will get that title when the person dies. So when Mia's father dies, Mia will become the queen of Genovia. So right now, she is a princess. She's not yet the ruler, so she's called a princess. Okay, we'll stop here for now. Thank you.